Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 3. I've just uh, forged myself a new staff while we were between episodes. I figured it'd be uh, a reasonable thing to do. Uh, so we're doing quite a bit of extra damage compared to what we were before. We're pretty close to uh, the Dark Lord now. Uh, it's only going to be a couple of levels, either this level and the next, or maybe as far as level 18. Um, but a little bit of extra damage, a little bit of extra toughness, just as we've pushed all the way up to... Okay, let's get Arkham going. Uh, we've pushed all the way up to uh, level 42 in the last episode. So significant increases in monster power. I suspect we're going to get a couple of levels before we actually reach the Dark Lord. So we might want to re-gear again just before the combat, but I'll see how it goes. We can always run away. There's nothing wrong with running away. The only bad thing is dying. And I think if we were going to die, it would have been at any one of the earlier points when I nearly got us killed. Let's uh, have a little look down here. You know, we've got Witches and Steel Lords. I mean, these guys are past the Warlord of Blood, so it makes me wonder, are they supposed to be more powerful? Or, like, is this the rear guard and that was the barracks area? Probably that, actually. Need more time. Now, in between um, the seasons, I was actually having a look at uh, Path of Exile and how the development for that is coming along. And I love Diablo 3, don't don't get me wrong at all, but the skill system and the way they've got um, skills being like um, constructible uh, by putting little modifiers on them, it's so similar to how the original um, rune system for Diablo uh, 3 was described before they, they changed it. They changed it a couple of times during development, um, but the idea was you was uh, supposed to be able to add modifiers onto your skills and uh, then they move to a more console based style uh, simplifying stuff so that there's uh, fewer controls needed and I I'm really tempted to head across the path of exile and try it out I, I tried it right at the very start and it was it was interesting back then but it wasn't anything new ooh this is the vizier uh, and there's um there's been so much development that's gone on since I've last properly looked at it. Uh, that's that's the interesting thing that I'm curious about. It's like, does it work as well as it sounds like it does on paper? And the thing that made me think about it was uh, when I gained a level just there, and uh, we had uh, Teleport getting the Fracture Room. And I was thinking it'd be really cool if there was an item that let you um, uh, let your mirror images last until they die. Because at that point, Fracture would become not just like a, a defensive distraction, uh, and a bit pants if I'm honest, uh, but it could become quite useful. And even though they've only got a tiny fraction of your health, Teleport in itself could become a combat technique. Clear out all of these. The big, oh dear, that might have been a mistake. Alright, we're still okay. But that was that was a bit close. Yeah. Let's let's not read any books without being prepared. I'm pretty certain last time I did exactly the same thing as well, so I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was surprised. Right, we're gonna wait until Archon is back, because Archon will make a huge difference. 
to our survivability. In the meantime, let's have a look at some of our other potential things. Uh, yeah, nothing really worth talking about there. Wow, that was dangerous. There's me saying, oh, nothing in this game is really a threat at the moment. We've been we've been trying to challenge ourselves, and, and then I try and step into a trap room. Okay, here we go. Come on, Lazarus, it's the and me. Right, that is gone, so now we're just down to me and his meteors. I think I can probably out tank him. wasn't easy, but that was totally doable, and that'll take us to level 16, right. Now, before we go down, extra toughness, yes please, 12% is a huge increase. That is a significant increase in vitality, but we'll lose 20% damage. Uh, let's just go in. Uh, level 45. Probably not worth us making a new weapon. Because this is only level 42. It's like levers. Levers imply traps. Didn't see that coming, did you? Now, am I happy with my choices for armor and stuff? Probably. One more room to do. Now, disintegrate at the moment does 390, which increases up to 890. Is it worth switching over for entropy? Uh, probably not, actually. Mm, no, we'll, uh, we'll keep it as it is. Hello, mate. Right. Firstly, kill these guys. A little bit painful. I can do that too, look. Isn't it fun? Oh no, we don't want to be on that side. Nasty mobs over there definitely don't want to be in a position where they can attack us. I don't mind face tanking him for a little bit if we can get both of these guys. At oh, no, I'm not going to face tank that though. Ow! <laughs> uh. Right, 
Right, he's nearly gone. And the Dark Lord is gone. Now, I don't think they had this last time. Taking the soul stone. And the decay. Is he saved though? That's the question. Maybe not the most sensible move for the warrior to do. But, look at this. Fred Soul Shard. All these bits, right? You guys still need to die. Let's finish these off. And then uh, we need to go back to uh, to the town and have a wander around because we've got that mushroom. Now, of course, the uh, red soul shard. Uh, after gaining a level, your resource costs are removed and cooldowns on skills are reduced by 75% for 30 seconds. That's huge. The um, periodically struggling for control. That's potentially going to be difficult, but uh, I'm sure we'll get it to work. Yeah, this just goes to the unholy altar. Oh, right. What we're going to do is we're going to teleport back to the old ruins and then we'll go back to town that way. It'll be faster. So. Oh, my word. Everything looks beautiful again. I can't open this. So. I think we need to go to Adria's hut first because we've got that mushroom. That gives us the witch's brew. Uh, maybe for Farnham, the drunk. This can't be opened yet. Right. Not Pepin. Uh, Farnham, yeah. There's Farnham, that gives us Drunkard's Debt, which is for the Tavern Keep. Guard is Letter. For Pepin. He does Prescription. Griswold, and that gives us the plan for Wurt's Leg. Which would be fun. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, Let's go back to town and we'll teach it and we'll see what we need for that. Slash if it's worth it. Right. You can learn this. Well, it's like it's a level one crap thing that just needs reusable parts. I mean, it's funny. It's funny, but um, ultimately not very helpful. Well, I want to take this gem out so that we can put our big gem in. And that's going to be very, very cool. Right, we need to level it up to level 25, so that's going to mean running greater rifts. That's not going to happen for a while. 
uh, in the meantime, we can do bounties though. And I think that's probably what we're going to move on to next because we want plans for various different sets. So at least we can take advantage of those. Uh, in fact, let's pull this back across. Uh, is it worth switching any of these out? Not really. No, we're, we're going to get better things soon enough. Uh, right, so uh, I guess on to Act 1 Bounties. We've got 15 minutes. Uh, it's probably not going to be enough to get through an entire set, but we'll uh, we'll see. Ah, everything looks so pretty. It, it's amazing the difference, like going from that to this. Ow. Like even down to the bar at the bottom, it just it just feels so vibrant. But people say cartoonish sometimes when they talk about uh, the way Diablo Three looks, and I I disagree a little bit. But uh, I'm so good, I astound myself. it's certainly not uh, not dull in the way it looks. Now, having Archon on our bar is actually going to give us a little bit of a, a safe uh, haven from the uh, from the gems effects. Because the gem does periodically make us lose control. Archon stops us being stunned. So that's going to be very useful for us. As long as it's off cooldown. I mean, if it's on cooldown, then there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. Yeah, anything that prevents us being locked in place would be useful to go alongside that while it happens. Because otherwise something's going to end up killing us by accident. I might decide it's a little bit too dangerous and take the gem off for a while while we're leveling up, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Man, those things are hungry. Let's get this guy killed. Of course, the other thing we need to do is we need to go and get Kanai's Q. But I think that'll probably be next episode rather than this one. Definitely feeling that my weapon is underpowered. And of course, if we're in Archon form, when the uh, gem triggers, it will just fling out that uh, explosion without any any trouble at all. What ring is this? Broken promises. Well, that's not terrible. Especially with little critical chance having a massive boon on that. Yeah, it really doesn't take much to, to trigger. Five hits without uh, without a critical, and then whack your critical chance up to a hundred percent for a couple of seconds. Big ass chest. Is it a trap? Feels like it should be. Feels like it should be. I'm gonna grab that crystal and I 
There's the BCs just over in the side. Ah, the explosion went off. Did you see that? That was cool. That made that a lot easier. And it, it just feels like it combines quite well with what we've got going on. It is more dangerous, yes. It is more fun, yes. I mean, I could also uh, do it with uh, uh, a Legacy of Nightmares build and just like really amp up the amount of damage that it puts out. But uh... Alright, let's go for the Cursed Bellows. I've still got another 10 minutes or so, so we can run through these quite quickly, I think. We have just arrived in nope. Ah, oh, that is not what... You know what, while, while we're here... No, I'm going to wait until level 50 before we re-gear our weapon. So, cooldown's massively reduced for 30 seconds, so let's... Take advantage to do some archoning stuff. Yeah, definitely want to be careful with this. Uh, that's an improvement. Let's switch that across. That's an improvement, but it doesn't have a socket in. Nah, it'll be fine. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to do a lot of it from up top, just in case that happens. Getting uh, Chandotto stuff and then Archon form, this would be excellent for this chest. Right, there's the 100 that we needed. And then we got paused a little bit. I think we did all right with this. Not terrible, not brilliant. And that takes us to level 50. Oh, we only did 87 before it expired. Huh. That feels a bit rude. I thought we had more than that. Uh, right, okay, on to the next bounty. That's gonna be killing a dude. Kill Persepius and a hundred mobs nearby. I love that explosion is just so cool. I mean, it's dangerous, but it's so cool. We do have Archon ready, just in case we need to activate it. I suspect he's going to be up in the... Uh... Right, let's, let's get Archon going now. fun combination like it doesn't actually end up stunning you as long as you're in archon form 
and you're already being quite explodey, and then you're more explodey on top of it. It's brilliant. What's not to love? Ooh, chest. Perfect. Let's stand just a little bit away from them. Get all this stuff and up this way. And of course, as we level up that uh, legendary gem, it's going to do more damage and more damage and more damage. It's just going to get better and better. So other than the potential death, I don't see a downside to this. Oh, stunned. On the stairs, worst place. Didn't actually end up getting used at all. Just face tanking until the guy falls over. 12 more mobs to kill, and then we can move on to the next bounty. 11 more mobs, including uh, Persepius. Oh, there's, there's plenty. That's one of the things I love about Disintegrate is the way it ramps up its damage. Oh, we're going to explode. There we go. Big hits. All right, Persepius, where are you? Where are you, mate? Ooh, we've got these guys to take care of. Let's not get charged. They're just a little bit dangerous. So, taking these guys out first. And then we can go on to this dude. Oh, he's up here. Take advantage of Arkham while we've got it on. Alright, let's move on to the next bounty. Okay, the Triune Reborn. So we've got five monuments to destroy. Sounds straightforward enough. Destruction is what we do. No, mate, you don't get to run back and warn your friends. Although they probably saw what was going on. So... Take from that what you will. Hopefully, death. Burning core, grab that. Right, there's our first one. Yeah, we are pretty much the definition of glass cannon with our mages. Now there's going to be a ton of stuff up here. There we go. Get the disintegrate going on it. Nope, not going to touch me with that. And apparently I'm not going to touch you with my explosion thing either. Right, one down. Should mean we're good for a while before the next one comes out. Mac, would you mind uh, engaging this guy? Thank you. Ah, I got stunned anyway. Oh well. Right, cooldowns are massively reduced, so I should take advantage of it to arc on up in the middle of all this.
It's only for 30 seconds though, which is a bit of a shame, but it will help. So three monuments destroyed. We saw another one over to the right. So let's head down that way. Oh, that's not a great combination. Let's back up so we can kill these properly. Oh dear. Ow. Was it worth it, Mr. Charging Beast? Was it worth it? Charged on in. Ended up getting hit by a massive explosion. From my face, no less. Most people would say it's not worth it. I love that it penetrates as well. It goes right through them. So if you're in the middle of a large group and not already dead. Then it can be pretty excellent. Yeah, we're, we're doing all right. I'm happy enough with, uh, with what we have going for a character. Obviously, I want to uh, get things prepped properly for when we've got the Archon set. But uh, while we're getting there, there's nothing to stop us just enjoying what we're doing. Oh, big explosion in the wrong direction because it was stopped by a tiny tree. Tiny trees, the bane of magicians everywhere. Right, there's only one triune monument left to find. <laughs> that is the... Uh, Absolute best sound effect. I need you to sound like you're struggling to control power, like extreme power. No, just, just make it sound like you're constipated, mate. That'd be fine. Well, it doesn't always kill everything on the screen but it does a significant amount of damage and at the moment we haven't even upgraded our weapons so it's not even as powerful as it could be right there's the last one eight hundred and ninety nine thousand Forty-seven stacks. That is quite a lot. Now, each stack does uh, improve the damage we do. Right, let's um, head to the final one, which is killing the Skeleton King. We are a little bit over time, uh, but seeing as there's only one bounty left, we'll get that tidied up. It should be a quick one. It's only the Yorick. I mean, we've already killed his older version, so... I could just run through all this, but with our face gem, uh, it's it would be a little bit dangerous. Especially when things like that happen. If we're in the middle of a much larger group, that would have been bad. Hello Amos, have you come to help me kill the Skeleton King? Come on across. For those of you who don't know, Amos is my stinky old man cat. He's absolutely lovely. Don't step on the keyboard, mate. Where are you going? 
But he is an old man. Let's get some of our arcane power back. That'll do. It comes back quickly enough, but uh, having the electrocute there is nice just for a little bit extra. Level 52. Now the advantage of being a wizard, we can just teleport across. Oh, you're stuck on the other side. Wait, did you just put a wall in the way? That is rude. And then, Jesus, these guys are annoying. They are good with those walls. My armor will finish them off. There we go. Cormac, come over here. Stop messing around on that side. More skeletons being spawned. Let's try and thin these down. I thought for a moment I'd been knocked back to a point where I couldn't uh, couldn't proceed from. Waller knocked back Juggernaut. Which means all his friends had knocked back as well. Luckily, he's stuck through a gate. So we can just disintegrate him without any worry. Oh, we're full. All right, let's, let's head back very quickly. We'll clear some space. Uh, we'll make a new weapon. And then we'll come back and kill Leoric. So in terms of... Ooh, hello. That's better. That's better. Improvements all across the board. They can all get sandwiched up. And highest usable weapon. Uh, we want a level 52 thing if possible. So the staff is level 52. And all the giant sword. Well, the staff is going to do more than a single-handed sword. So let's go for that. Such a big increase. All right, let's uh, let's go hammer the skeleton king. And hopefully he won't hammer us. That's the important thing to bear in mind. All right, killed you once. Touch you. Touch you again. Yeah, it didn't get me. Nice try, though. Archon explosions. And a big ass explosion as well. And the Skeleton King is done. All right. Let's head back to town. We'll grab our loot from that and we will call it an end there. So, Tyrion, give me all of this. Ooh, lots of plans. They're going to be interesting. So, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plans. Uh, can make Singularity, which is a level 50 source. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go one handed and source. So, what's going to be the best? Uh, a single sword, wasn't it? It was level 52. Ah, that still does so much more damage. Critical hits grant arcane power, which means we'd be able to do it permanently, but 70% more damage, 75% more damage almost. Uh, it's just too much to, to ignore. So you're going to get this. And I'm going to salvage up the record. In fact, you can, you can have this as well. Because that's going to be a step up for you. Those are a step up for us. That's an even better one. Mm. We lose 24% toughness, though. We gain life per hit. But I think the extra toughness is, is going to be vitally important. Vitally important. No, sorry. Sorry, that was weak. Pretend I didn't say anything. Uh, we'll grab this and yeah, salvage up the rest. And that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, so thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. It's been loads of fun for me, as you can probably tell. Uh, we have our face gem, uh, which is the important thing. That's what we're really going for uh, with this run through the Darkening of Tristram event. Uh, it's going to be as much of a benefit as it is going to be a hazard to us. Uh, beyond that, I really don't know what to say on it. Um, so if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 3. See you soon.